question describe the benefits of tamping in design mode also write down the pre tamping and post tamping operations for tamping of turnouts including the points to be observed during tamping of turnouts for better retention of packing answer benefits of tamping in design mode working of tamping machine in smoothening mode reduces the track defects with unevenness cross levels and alignment to only limited extent wherever the tamping in design mode correct the track parameters up to a design value thereby eliminating the track defects to a larger extent thus good track geometry is achieved by working of tamping machines in design mode comparatively long sags and dips in track are eliminated by designing the vertical profile of the track also the long alignment defects are removed by using the sufficiently long cords for designing the sluice however obligatory points are to be kept in mind while designing the vertical profile and sluice for tamping in design mode pre tamping operations for tamping of turnouts 1 layout including spacing of sleepers as per relevant drawings shall be ensured 2 battered worn out crossings should be reconditioned or replaced 3 warped bent or worn out sleepers under crossing should be replaced 4 the joints of the cms crossing should be made gapless 5 avoidable joints in turnout portion and on its approaches should be welded 6 high points on the turnout and its approaches should be determined and general lift should be decided general lift of minimum 10 mm must be given 7 the field survey should be carried out to design the vertical profile general lift and sluice for rectification of alignment defects 8 ballast shall be heaped up in the tamping zone to ensure effective packing 9 hogged battered and low joints shall be attended 10 track drainage should be improved for better retention of packing 11 deficient fittings and fastenings should be made good and properly tightened 12 wooden blocks and joggle fish plates shall be removed temporarily ahead of tamping operations during tamping of turnouts 1 for packing turnout main line is to be tamped first While tamping main line the additional lifting arrangement lifts the turnout side rail also the lifted end of sleepers should be adequately supported on wooden wedges till it is packed tamped 2 the machine carries out correction of alignment and levels on main line portion on the turnout side only tamping without lifting and lining shall be done 3 The squeezing pressure to be applied should be as follows. A. ST wooden sleepers 110 to 115 kg per square centimeter. B. PSC sleepers 135 to 140 kg per square centimeter. 4. In case there is hindrance to achieve adequate penetration of tools Penetration assistance system should be used to facilitate insertion of tools in ballast and to accelerate lowering of tamping units. 5. During and before tamping, S&T and electrical staff should also be associated to complete their portion of work. 6. Tamping of all sleepers should be ensured specially in switch portion by opening out all the stretcher bars including leading stretcher bar by taking proper disconnection of the point through S&T supervisor at site. 7. The parameters of tamped track should be checked immediately after tamping for cross level and alignment and necessary corrective action should be taken. Post tamping operations. 1. All S&T and electrical connections removed before tamping shall be restored back. 2. All broken missing fittings and fastenings should be recouped and loose ones should be tightened. 3. The ballast should be dressed neatly. Proper consolidation of ballast between the sleepers should be done. 4. Final track parameters should be recorded.